recent meeting of the UN Alliance of Civilizations, a radical ecumenical agenda was unveiled. Richard Medford created a video of clips from this conference. I am creating this video in response to explain the significance of the comments made at this conference by various speakers, uh, which included uh, President Barack Obama. This is really the great whore at work. The ecumenical movement uh, is the great whore. It's the great whore in the Bible was this religious system that was also an economic system. It's where the economics and the religion were merged together and at the core of it is an occult conspiracy. Now I'd like to just unpack here some of the significance of the comments made here. One of the things that the speakers at this conference consistently emphasized was that any belief in absolute truth was equated with extremism. Uh, one speaker even said that it bordered on hate speech. Any kind of belief that uh, there is absolute truth or in particular here that one's religious belief is exclusively true. An example, if you say Jesus is the only way to heaven, that the other religions are wrong, that the Buddhists are wrong, that the, the Muslims are wrong, and that because they are wrong on the point of whether Jesus is the only way they're going to go to hell is in the minds of these speakers extremism. In the mind of one of the speakers it bordered on hate speech. And this is no small matter because in many of the countries of the world you have laws banning hate speech. Uh, and in the minds of these people, the, the next conclusion would be to, to outlaw this. Uh, faith is redefined in the ecumenical movement. Uh, not all religions are considered faiths in their way of thinking. Uh, fundamentalist beliefs are not counted as faith. I want to repeat that. Not all faiths are viewed as bona fide faiths in theirs. Uh, many speakers made references to the hijacking of religion. By their standards, by their definition of faith, my belief system would not count as a faith. If you believe in the literal, verbal, plenary inspiration of the scripture, it's not counted. If you believe Jesus is the only way, that's not counted as a bona fide faith because that's too exclusive. Uh, Particularly in this, uh, one woman made reference that she believes that there is an ethos common to all religions. And she makes a reference to the uh, something in the Iliad where these two men look at each other and view each other as divine. So she believes that the common ethos to all religions is that all religions are divine. All religions have a divine spark. And this thinking is rooted in the occult nature of the ecumenical movement. At the core of the ecumenical movement is this occult network that has been around since Babel. Uh, satanically inspired occults, uh, they have a worldview called panentheism, which basically believes that God evolved, there is a divine spark in nature, and there is a divine spark in certain individuals and in certain movements. And this divine spark manifests itself in the various religions of the world. And through various processes of managed conflict, this divine spark becomes purified until finally you have a global society, a global village, a global government, and a global religion. And it's at this particular point in the faith that the ecumenicalists are not really forthcoming. They all believe this, but they don't market it this way. But they're really setting up their movement as an arbiter of truth, as an arbiter of faith. Uh, this woman speaker keeps saying over and over that we need to have uh, a movement, she calls it, that expresses the ethos of compassion, as she puts it, that's common to all religions. This movement that people could join would rescue religions from the hijackers. And she even wants to, in this movement, set up guidelines for scriptural interpretation. 
So the ecumenical movement is this occult movement that's setting itself up as a global religion. What they're proposed in this conference called the, of the UN Alliance of Civilizations, it's uh, also known as the ecumenical movement, it is the harlot church. We are seeing before our eyes the fulfillment of Revelation 17 and 18, uh, where it talks about the great whore system coming about. You have this false religious system that the Bible calls Mystery Babylon. The English word mystery comes from the Greek word mysterion, which was a reference to the secret religious societies that were very common in the first century. And these societies had this uh, pagan occult religion as the core. And this is what's being foisted upon people. Through bait and switch, through all kinds of tactics, they're not telling you who they are or what they're really about, but under the guise of uniting the world's religions together, under the guise of tolerance of religion, you have this religious movement being set up that in its final stages will persecute anyone outside the system. In the final stages of this system that is being brought about, uh, they will force people to participate and those who refuse to participate will be persecuted. Uh, this religious religio-economic system is going to be in bed with the kings of the earth. And we're seeing it at the conference. The who's who of politics. President Barack Obama was a speaker at this conference, uh, among others. <clears throat> the Clintons have spoken at similar conferences in the past. And numerous uh, politicians... Uh, Barack Obama made a reference to the king of Saudi Arabia who is involved in all of this as well. 